Oh, that's a good walleye. Come on, baby, stay low. Stay low, 50. Come on. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Luke Pulaski with the Outdoor Conquest. Today we're talking about trolling for walleye on the Saginaw Bay and my favorite lure to use, Reef Runner Lures. I'm making this video based on my success I've had trolling walleye over the years, especially on the Saginaw Bay, but even inland lakes. But this time of year, you're gonna find me on the Saginaw Bay a lot trolling for walleye. And my go-to lure is the Reef Runner 600 series that has been for quite a while and will continue to be for a long time. If you're new to my channel, not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. I truly appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys watching my videos, um, helping me grow the channel. I got a lot of things coming up in the future. I'm gonna start transitioning into a little more hunting as the fall gets here, you know, pheasant hunting, deer hunting. Um, I'm going elk hunting in Colorado this fall. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you uh, a printout that I have that shows you all the different depths for like the 800 series reef runner, the 600 series, which are my favorite for the Saginaw Bay again. I believe these are the 400. I've had success with these. I do put a snap weight on those when trolling, but let's dive in quick. Um, for starters, no, this is not, I'm not paid by Reef Runner Tackle Company. I'm just a fan of their lures. I'm a fan of the quality, the colors that they come out with year to year. And a lot of their originals, you know, are some of my favorites still. I've been using Reef Runner since, you know, at least 15 years now. Uh, casting, trolling, you know, everything. So, um, what I really like on the Saginaw Bay it's called the Deep Little Ripper. What I really like most about Reef Runner is the different colors they offer and the durability of the lures. Um, there's a really popular brand out there. I'm not gonna name the brand. I have one for you, but the, I have a really big issue with these. Um, they've got some really good colors and whatnot. And, but I have, the main issue is right here um, this particular brand although the hooks are really tacky I've tried these and after I mean on average you'll get three fish and these hooks are trashed if they're not broke they're bent and they need to be replaced and that, I have a big issue you're gonna pay a lot less for this but you're not getting the quality I mean you're getting what you pay for so I I keep a few just to have but I don't I don't swear by these. I swear by Reef Runner, and that's why I'm doing this video. Here's another one from Reef Runner. I had a really good weekend with this particular color here. It's kind of like a yellow tail, but it's got a pink head on it. And um, man, I hammered the fish. And I think I caught five walleye on this one lure. The size of the hooks. You know, these things are super durable. The J's a little bit deeper as well. But this is what I use. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, video clip on how I set it up. All right, everybody. Welcome back. It's like 5.30 in the morning at Caseville Marina. Gonna go try for some walleye. We've had some storms the last couple days here, so haven't even got the boat out, but we're gonna give her a shot. It's at Caseville Marina. Trying for walleye, trolling uh, crankbaits, body baits, a few different methods, but uh, stick around. Okay, here we are, Saginaw Bay. Got dad with me behind the wheel. And uh, I'm gonna walk you guys through. I'm gonna show you exactly how I troll for walleye out here. Now, for starters, I like using the Okuma Classic Pro, the Great Lakes trolling rod. Paired up with the Okuma Magna Pros. These are the 20 DXs. I got them spooled up with 12 pound test. Um, normally I run a three board spread, but we're running four because we can legally run six. We just brought in a couple of long lines, but 
we've been trolling this morning, crankbaits, and uh, we got on a few fish. So I'm gonna walk you through the setup we are running. All right, so now what I like to use, these are made by Reef Runner Tackle Company. They're called the Deep Little Ripper. And the program I've been running, basically 75 foot back, 65 to 75 foot back, and that'll put you, you know, anywhere from 16 to 18 foot down. And we've been fishing 18 to 20 foot of water. What you're gonna do is you're gonna send that back till your line counter hits 75. We're at 75 on the line counter. Go ahead and snap your planer board on. And out it goes. Got a fish on. Feels like a good one too. Bringing the board in. Flag down, baby. Ooh. Good one. This is where we gotta be careful, right here. Taking this board off. This is where they get the slack in line. That's how you can lose them real easy. Gotta start cranking on them. All right, we're still hooked up. Oh, that's a good walleye. Come on, baby, stay low. Stay low, 50. Come on. Come on. Got him. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Look at that, that reef runner. Brand new reef runner, too. Right there. Nice walleye. Straight T-bone that. Look at that. Saginaw Bay, reef runners, baby. Keep your flicker minnows. That's what I use right here. Look at them, T-boned it. Man, that walleye straight T-boned this reef runner, didn't he? My hot color so far this summer on the Saginaw Bay has been this one. I don't remember exactly what the name of it is, but it's kind of like a yellow tail, like a yellow tail spoon kind of color. A um, little bit of a clown color in there. But this, this baby's been hot and I've caught multiple fish and these hooks aren't even aren't even showing signs of wear yet. So that's a good thing. Now, don't get me wrong. There's multiple ways to catch walleye on the Saginaw Bay uh, when you're trolling. Now, a lot of people prefer bottom bouncers with crawler harnesses. Me personally, I don't. Um, but you could use, you know, jointed Rapalas with a snap weight to help get it down there towards the bottom. You could use this particular brand it's the uh, flicker shad um but me personally the reef runner is where it's at these guys make a great product you're gonna get what you pay for so i hope you guys like this episode be sure to stick around to the very end here i'm going to share with you um my printout of the depth charts of all the different size reef runners so appreciate you guys watching um i hope you stick around for future episodes we'll see you on the next one